Ladies and gentlemen, your 2015 commencement speaker, Alvin Patrick. Alvin. Thank you. <clears throat> wow. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, to the Board of Trustees of Marist College uh, and to this institution that means so much to me. You know, when, when Dennis first told me that Marist was planning to bestow me with this incredible honor, I told him that this is the culmination of an unspoken contract between an alma mater and a graduate. That contract essentially says that you as the graduate will try your best to live a life that will make your alma mater proud. And the school in turn promises to grow and prosper so that the graduate always remains proud to put that institution on his or her resume. Since I graduated in 1986, Marist College has certainly kept its part of the bargain. It has grown by leaps and bounds. And I am humbled that by virtue of this distinguished alumnus medal, Marist is saying to me that I have kept my part of the bargain as well. Most of you know that President Murray announced that he will retire next year after what will be 37 years at the helm. Look around. His handiwork and the handiwork of the Board of Trustees and the faculty lays before us a first-class 21st century institution ready for the future. Before I begin my brief remarks, please acknowledge Dennis Murray, the man who has presided over what will surely be known as the golden age in the history of Marist College. Tonight, I have a simple message for you. Uh, the message is just three words. Savor this moment. Savor this moment. I have a friend whose mother was a brilliant educator and writer on Martha's Vineyard. Her name was Della Hardman, the granddaughter of slaves. Della lived her life to the fullest, traveling the world and earning a PhD at age 72. Savor the moment was her personal motto and life credo. After she passed away at age 83 in 2005, the town of Oak Bluffs and Martha's Vineyard established an annual celebration called Della Hardman Day as a way to remember the woman, her message, and a life well lived. Savor the moment is a powerful way to remember that we should always appreciate the here and the now and focus on the importance of the present. As graduate students and adult students, you have a keen eye on your futures, more so than the undergraduates who will get their degrees tomorrow morning. You have careers to focus on, families to build, loved ones to take care of, but do not make the mistake of missing this moment. I certainly made that mistake when I was in your shoes. In June of 1988, I was a lot like you. I was a 23-year-old graduate student and a wannabe adult. I was about to graduate from Brooklyn College with a Master of Fine Arts degree, and one week later, I was to be married. On top of that, I had already accepted my first job at a local TV station. So for most of the last semester of grad school, I was finishing my thesis and working full time. So when my family asked me about coming to the commencement ceremony, I discouraged all of them. I was looking past graduate school. I basically felt I had bigger fish to fry than to worry about celebrating another graduation. After all, just two years before, they had all come up here to Marist, my parents, my brothers, my grandmother, my girlfriend, and we applauded that moment. But I thought, back then I was a t just a 21-year-old kid. Now I'm a 23-year-old grown-up. <laughs> so the commencement day arrived, and I got my wish. Only my grandmother attended. 
which was fine with me. I mean, I was looking ahead to my life. Who cares about the ceremony, right? Well, as soon as pomp and circumstance began to play, I was just overwhelmed. A flood of emotions overcame me. I thought about how hard it was to fulfill my thesis requirements, producing a documentary and a situation comedy, writing a 200-page production book, and defending it before the thesis committee. I started to savor the moment. I looked out at the campus quad and took a few deep breaths of appreciation. I thanked God for that moment. After the ceremony, I was suddenly happy that my grandmother was there. But I regretted not sharing that moment with my entire family. That Monday, I went to work in a job that would lead to a wonderful and fulfilling career, a career that would take me around the world and back. The next week, I got married to the love of my life. We embarked on a lifelong partnership that has lasted the test of time, 27 years next month. And we built a family. Thank you. <laughs> and we built a family with two great children. I believe that life is simply a series of moments, moments to be celebrated, moments to be shared, moments to be endured, and yes, moments to be seized. And it's moments like tonight that should be savored because each moment in your life is a building block to the next. Each moment is important. So indulge me, if you will, and allow me to make up for a 27-year-old mistake. Allow me to savor this moment by acknowledging my family who are here with me tonight. My wife, Beverly, my daughter, Arielle, my son, Andrew, my mother, Edith, my brothers, Stephen and William. Thank you. Thank you to my family for being here. Several psychology studies show that we are happiest when we live in the now, not dwelling on the past or obsessing about the future, just being in the present. So I implore you tonight to savor the moment, drink in the atmosphere, appreciate the majestic Hudson River landscape before us, soak in the beautiful campus green, Share this experience with your family and friends here with you tonight, because you are special, and what you have accomplished is noteworthy. Graduate students, you are members of an elite club. Only 11% of Americans have a master's professional or doctoral degree. You are poised to be the leaders in the next chapter of our country. Adult students, you are members of two special clubs. First, only 30% of Americans have a bachelor's degree or more. And second, only 38% of adult students who go back to get their degree actually do so. You have set an example of hard work and achievement for your families, friends, and loved ones that will long be remembered. So please, savor this moment because tomorrow or next week, you will get on with your job, your marriage, your life. But there will only be one day in your life like this, a day when we celebrate you for what you have accomplished and what we know you will do in the future. Remember May 22nd, 2015. Keep it with you so that in the future, you can Google it in your heart and your mind. And remember Marist College, this great institution with not one, but two Latin mottos that serve as beacons for all who grace our halls. First, the words on our college seal, orare et laborare, pray and work. And second, the words on our coat of arms, cum optimis litigare, strive with the best. Keep the unspoken contract between alma mater and alumni, the mutual agreement that you and Marist will grow and prosper and make each other proud. I know Marist will keep its end of the bargain. Now go out and hold up your end of the deal. But first, 
savor the moment, and savor all of the moments that are sure to come in your bright futures. Congratulations, class of 2015. Well done. Thank you, and have a good night. <laughs>